hello guys welcome to professor dk and in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can create a wonderful looking login app which takes in your password and your name and compares it to a string and if it matches it lets you go to the next activity and also suppose you do five incorrect attempts it also disables the button so that you can't log in so let's start with it so firstly open android studio and we name this app as login demo and just click on next go with the defaults click on next and choose empty activity and let's just keep the name of the main activity as main activity and then proceed so wait for android studio to build okay so once your android studio has finished building go ahead to the activity main and here we are gonna click on the design tab okay so under the design section we need to edit text and a button so drag the plain text to the maximum layout so as you can see here it uh, it has a main layout as well as the blueprint which is seen so before we add the next edit text we need to constrain this to the layout so since i need it at the center so constrain it horizontally to the right and left and then also to the top and the bottom so now that we have constrained this uh, we can move it slightly higher because we don't want it at the center so there you have it so it's perfectly aligned and uh, we don't want this text to be named so just change this text just keep it as a blank and instead of text let's name the hint as name because that is much more better and as you can see here so you will have that name which will be uh, you know highlighted unless the user clicks so once the user clicks on this it disappears so that's a better way of uh, you know defining a widget and uh, before we add that we also need to set the id of uh, the text view so if you scroll to the top we can see that uh, we have the id of this edit text so let's call this as et name and click on enter so that's done so next we need to add the edit text for the password so just drag it below name and we need to repeat the process again but instead of constraining this to the top we'll constrain this below this all right so constrain this to that and to the bottom as well and to the left and the right so and then you can move it around okay make sure it's in the center and place it right below the name so there you have it and we'll also set the hint and the id for this edit text so change the hint to password and change the id which is at the top to et password et here basically means uh, edit text for so i'm writing a short for edit text as et password so this is how i like coding it so after this is done we can add the button as well quickly so add the button drag it below the password make sure it's in the center constrain it again to the password at the top constrain it to the bottom and horizontally as well so once you have constrained it properly you can move it around and let's just quickly rename this button to login all right and let's set the id for the button as btn which is short for button and login okay so we have uh, named the id for the button as well so now we also need to add a small text view so under the button add the text view so this is basically to display the number of incorrect attempts so let's change the text view to let's change the text to number of incorrect attempts a colon and a space and click enter and you can see that it has moved so make sure it's in the center so now that we have done this we can also assign the id for this so let's just call this tv info okay so text view info this is the id for this and uh, we are not constrained this so 
move to the blueprint and so as we did earlier so constrain it to the topmost layout and topmost widget and also to the right and left so then you can move it around so so there you have it this is our simple login app which i have created in the latest android studio using the constraint layout so this is as simple so you can uh, so constraint layout you know might seem difficult at first but this is as simple as it can get so this is how you create the layout so now that we have created our layout we can go ahead to our main activity dot java so we need to create four variables for you know all the widgets that we created so firstly let's create the variable for edit text i'll call this as name and i'll call the other edit text as password and we have a text view as well i'll call this as info and next we have a button so let's call this as login all right so now that we have added all our variables we need to assign this these variables to the id defined in the xml layout so for that we need to do a find view by id so take the variable do a quick type cast to whatever the widget it is and do a find view by id so what this does is it assigns this variable to the respective id in the xml layout and next we need to assign the password so for that again do a quick edit text type cast and a find view by id and also r.id.et password and once this is done you can quickly do it for other two i'm going to skip forward okay so now that we have assigned uh, the our variables with the respective uh, xml layout ids we need to write a function for validating if uh, our password is right or wrong so let's just write a function outside on create called as private void validate and it will have two parameters one is the user entered name and the user entered password okay so this is how you can write a function a simple function so why void is because it's not returning anything okay so it has to take the string and the password and then compare it with our string so if we'll write a simple if condition so if our username is equal to you know you can write your name or whatever you want the username and password to be so you can write admin something like this and you also want to make sure that this is you know the user password is also equal to something so user password is equal to 1234 so just make sure you put all of these in separate brackets curly brackets okay and now inside this so what happens here is if the username is equal to admin and if the user password is equal to 1234 then you have to go to the next activity which is it has to let the user enter into our app so once the strings match it has to let the user into the next activity so for that we need the intent is equal to new intent we need to go from main activity dot this to another activity so let's call this second activity dot plus all right now this is uh, showing an error because you have not created our second activity so let's just quickly create our second activity so click at the top left corner you have the your under java you can see your package name so in that just click just right click and you can create your new activity just go to activity and create a empty activity so let's call this 
second activity for the sake of simplicity and click on finish so that will create your second activity once the second activity has loaded you can see that it has a java file as well as the layout but if you don't find this you can always you know go go ahead to the package and find the activity and if you go to resources layout you can find the layout here so double click and you can get all this so we'll just add a simple text view saying that this is the second activity so just double click on this you can change the text to this is second activity all right so once you have done that just click on enter and make sure it's in the center so just drag it okay it's in the center and you can also change the text size a uh, bit so let's just just going to type text size and under study is going to complete it for me so just type in 32 scale independent pixels which is x sp so you can see that you know it's quite large now and quite more much more visible so this is our second activity so let's just close this we don't need this we are not going to do anything much in the second activity so there you can see our error has gone now so basically the an intent is used to move from one activity to another it just uses these two parameters the first activity and the activity which you want to go to more like a source and the destination so from main activity you need to add dot this and a dot class is for the so for the destination all right so to start the next activity we need to do a start activity function so start activity and the intent is passed as the parameter so there you have it um, that's how simple it gets so this is how you can move to the next activity in just two lines so this happens only when the username and the user password entered is equal to admin and one two three four now if it is not that what happens so basically we need to do something when the password is incorrect right so we'll just need a counter which you know decrements each time so create a counter called private int so since it's an integer private int counter so every time the wrong password is entered the counter decrements okay so let's initialize this counter to 5 because we want 5 attempts and after 5 incorrect attempts the button should be disabled okay so the counter decrements and if the counter so in the else you also need to do this so if the counter is equal to 0 then you need to disable the button so our button is basically the login so login dot set enable is false so that's it guys so this is this will basically disable the button okay so when should this function work so this function should work only when the button login is clicked right so we need to click set the on click listener for this so login dot set on click listener so make sure you type in how i'm typing because i'm not typing you know the, everything so i'm just typing a part of it so if you can see i'm just typing o n click and you can see that android studio is auto completing it for me so once you just click enter it writes a few codes by itself now if you just type new view dot you're not gonna get this android studio is not gonna understand what so make sure you type in as i type new on click and then click on enter and you should get this okay so inside on click it should validate so i'm just gonna provide this function and we also need to you know pass two parameters which is username and user password now what is a username so username is got from the edit text right so we need to do a name dot get text dot to string okay so basically our name is the edit text so it gets whatever the user has entered using the function get text and then it is converted to a string because as we have defined in the validate function our username is a string and we need to do the same for password as well so get text 
and again to string okay so there you have it guys so this is our login app so what it does is it firstly you know validates if our username and password is equal to admin and one two three four and if it is correct then it you know moves to the next activity if it's not then what happens is it decrements our counter which is initialized to five initially and uh, after that it keeps decrementing and if you, if you keep plugging in incorrect passwords and when the counter becomes zero the login dot set enabled becomes false okay so now that we have uh, completed this uh, we have another variable called info which is the text view which we need to use to display the number of incorrect attempts so to display the incorrect attempts what we need to do is you know in the else so info dot make sure you type it properly so info dot set text and inside this let's just type number of attempts remaining give a space and we need to add the value of the counter so it displays the number of attempts remaining and uh, the counter value which keeps decrementing each time is shown here but since this is an int we need to do a quick string dot value of so just type string dot value of and some curly braces okay so what this function does is it converts the int to a string so this is how you can set the info of number of attempts remaining now as you can recollect that we have named our this thing as you know number of uh, incorrect attempts i just change it to number of attempts remaining make sure you do this change and now if you you know run this app you can see that it shows number of attempts remaining and there's a blank so so initially we can set this to info dot set text make sure you type it properly so info dot set text and number of attempts remaining is 5 okay so initially you can display this as info dot set text number of attempts remaining as 5 and whenever the button is clicked the validate function is called and the number of att attempts remaining keeps decrementing based on the value of the counter so this is how you can create the login app so it's that simple so you can quickly go ahead and run this app onto your phone so as you can see here initially we have our number of attempts which is equal to 5 so now next what we need to do is we need to enter the so let's just do the correct version first so if you type in admin and then type 1 2 3 4 and click on login so you should be directed to the second activity now what if we click on what if we type something which is wrong so i'm just gonna type something wrong and uh, i'm just gonna click on login so as you can see here the number of attempts remaining is you know equal to four now okay so if you just keep you know clicking on login so it keeps decrementing and after it reaches zero you can see that the button gets disabled so the button is now no longer available to be clicked so if you try to click it you can see that nothing happens so this is a simple login app which you can use to you know enter into an app and this is solely for a single person who knows the username and password so thank you guys for watching this this was a simple demonstration of the login app so thank you guys if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up this tutorial is for all those android beginners out there who want to learn android development so by doing these simple projects it helps you to learn uh, android better and faster so thank you guys for watching make sure you like and subscribe